Okay. No, remember they said we were too close together. Detroit kept making fun of us, so we had no room. Now I miss you. <laughs> that better be in there. <laughs> oh my. Well, no, we have to start it now. If this uh, thing keeps focusing. I'm going to lose it. You know what that is? I don't care. It's Bumble. Uh-huh. Bumble fuck. I'm not used to This is so weird. Is this light enough for you? Are you going to complain that it's too dark? I like it. Okay. Ready? What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's up? I don't want to do this I like it. It's Woo! so weird. I like being on the big screen. It's weird. Ah, whatever. So what's going on, people? They will wait for them to respond. Oh. They're going to be like, we've been fucking waiting <laughs> for your podcast. We've been watching yeah. this. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so our sincere apologies about the last podcast not being um, broadcasted to everyone. Um, Matt did... Matt did let me know that there was a technical issue with the video, and I, w I did go and take his word for it. I looked into it, and it was very dark. It can't, you guys would have barely been able to see us. We had a s serious lighting issue, um, so hopefully that's all fixed. So I'm expecting an apology from you I... for starting the anarchy that I saw. What? Hashtag you and Matt. Yeah. It should never take that long to post a podcast. Dude, I was trying to fix it. It's kind of fix it. Could it? You could have just told everybody, "Hey, people, having an issue." Instead, you just left us in the dark. Having an issue. Issue. I found out today. LOL. Today is the twenty seventh. Yes. Well, I felt bad letting everybody down, so don't be let down anymore. No, we will. We're, I'm going to touch base just on uh, one important thing from the last um, the last podcast, and uh, that's just because I promised. Uh, a follower, a certain follower, uh, Carol Cat 17 um, from the last Fear the Walking Dead episode, um, uh, episode 2, uh, she asked us about uh, our opinion on a crossover ever possibly happening. So real quick with that, um, basically we found uh, what we like to call little Easter eggs, or as they call them, little Easter eggs. Um, once again, not sure of what the episode was called or which one it was, but in The Walking Dead, um, the episode where you have Spencer and Michonne out in the woods and they're going for their walk. They show um, Enid and Carl in the woods and they're going for a walk. And basically... The Netflix and chilling. Yeah, Netflix and chilling, yeah. Comic books and chilling in the woods. Yeah, comic books. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's cute. So they stumble across a, a, a balloon. Enid finds a blue balloon completely deflated um, it's in like a it, there, there's a there's a piece of paper inside of a, a plastic bag or you know just some kind of plastic covering and she picks it up she pulls out the paper looks at it and moisture had gotten to what were, whatever was written mm -hmm. on it and kind of ruined what was on there one of our theories and, and Matt really is the one who brought this to fruition was the fact that hey um, maybe at some point and this is obviously just a big maybe, but at some point somebody was filling up balloons um, and, and basically, you know, putting these messages on them and, and trying to protect them with the plastic and sending them out. Did there. she ever figure out what it said? No, it was, she said it was, it was completely wiped blank. Apparently, she must have been there for hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, somebody, you know, and I, who knows if we'll find out you know sooner than later yeah but someone at some point was filling up these balloons attaching these messages and, and sending them out there um, you know kind of like just message in a bottle so to mm -hmm. speak you know um, I want total credit for it yeah I mean you know, like you know basically yeah Matt Matt was the one who who brought that that one up the I one what episode that was that we, that we said it you did mention it in a previous episode yeah, to yeah. I want to say it was probably podcast nine or ten you might have done it, it was Probably ten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one that I'm I'm gonna mention is uh, just based off the fact that I've been playing um, Telltale's video games of of uh, The Walking Dead, um, and I just recently started getting into the Michonne series, 
or it tells her story. And in her story, there is a, a character um, who is very comfortable on being at sea on a, on a ship, on a boat. So my theory of a crossover is possibly Strand could be this character development that maybe at one point had a tie with Michonne. Okay. Um, we don't know. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know. It could be a very long time before that. And this is me, like, really, like, kind of reaching for a possible crossover connection. Like, not so much a crossover, oh. but a connection to a crossover. It's not too much far of a stretch. What, do you remember the guy's name from the first one? Because this is, the Michonne series isn't the first one that they came out with. What was the, the main character's name in the other one? Anyways, Lee? Lee. Lee. Yes. There was a crossover between him and Glenn right before Glenn went to Atlanta. Right. And found Rick, and that's how all that started. But there was a crossover between that. Which well, Glenn was leaves the group. Right. He leaves the group to, to go, go to Atlanta. Yeah, to go find friends. And then that's what so in that that's in that's in a yeah that's in the the first series right. with um, uh, Clementine. Right. And, so and a crossover Lee isn't around. isn't so far no, fetched. It would be pretty cool, actually. It would be, and I mean, Strand does kind of fit this character that they have in the video game. The video game character is a little bit more. I want to say softer. Okay. So, you know, you could see Strand become this softer person through time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's so, uh, I know, because right now he is he is rough. And I love it. <laughs> but, um, so there you go, Carol. Um, that's what we kind of had for you as far as crossover theories. Um, you never know. That's all we got to say about that. Let's get into episode three. Yes. All right. Episode it, it three. It keeps getting better and oh, better. It, like, I mean, it's just... I couldn't... I was away, obviously. Mm -hmm. I, I just got back today, and I got to watch it on... Um, was it Monday or Tuesday night? I, I got to watch it. And, yeah, I... Because I, I, I went through the tweets, and I saw Carol... I like... Carol does a lot of live tweeting. She does a ton of different shows. Mm -hmm. um, she does, like, daytime soap operas. She does everything. Okay, so. Cool. I like to follow her thread because she's usually got some. She'll either que she'll send questions to us, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. And I told her that I, you know I didn't get to watch it yet, but she was like, "It's the best one yet. This and one, by far. It's getting good." And yeah. the people who have have missed out and have 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 pretty much shit on it in the pre <laughs> because of the first season. It's time to jump on. You better you better dig back in because it's getting good. <laughs> it's. It's starting to catch up and to almost rival The Walking Dead. I mean, we we're so far into The Walking Dead, it's hard to catch up at this point. Right. There's so many intense moments mm -hmm. going on, like right out, even in the beginning. Right. Like you had said, had mentioned that the whole plane thing, yeah. which where is where it started. The, Correct. This, this is where this episode started, which was out of control. Yeah, I mean that what that opening scene, um, you know, uh, just. Pretty much uh, owning owning that little raft, you know. She she took ownership of the raft. Do we we never figured out her name, did we? I didn't get it. I either. didn't write it down. I don't know if they I don't know if they even introduced it in in the show or not. No. She she really only has small parts. Right. Um, the first time you see her, she's running across the sand, mm -hmm. runs into Salazar and says, "You gotta you know run, get away." And then the next time you see her, they're you know she pretty much they're they're trying to bring her aboard and and. Right. Strand says no. Well, it, I mean, it start, well, in the <laughs> beginning, it starts with, like, her on, like, the plane had crashed. Right. And you have, I think there's maybe four or five survivors that are all jumping onto this thing. One of the last guys to jump on there... I, he, he actually he, got pulled under. He got bit. pulled under. Yeah. And that was crazy. Yeah. Because they just, without even, no, no, yeah, it just hit him. Pop. Nobody said a word. Yeah. How do you not say anything? Look down at his leg, and, you see that blood yeah. dripping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like everybody's like, yep. Sorry, you yeah. gotta go. And then you got this kid who burnt half the bed, <laughs> and it's just like, and he's having trouble breathing. They're trying to kill him. What? They're afraid he's gonna turn. What? And she's protecting him. What's the connection between those two? Because she said that I, I owe I owe him my life. Well, he he's the one who kind of. Uh, um, did you ever see I, the, com the like the com like the commercials right? The, little the, the airplane, minute, the little minute, thirty second break. Right, I didn't video. watch. I didn't see all of them. He was the main. The, he was one of the main ones on the plane who caught on to what was going on okay. pretty quick. Like, you know, he was very leery, you know, to what was going on. 
uh, awkward phone conversation he had with his mother when he was flying. You know, he heard commotion on, through the phone lines and okay. something was going on. So he was oh, he was one of these, he was more of the leery people as to, wait, something's not right kind mm -hmm. of thing. So, um, you know, on the plane a lot went down. No, you know, he's a burnt heap. Yeah. So she she feels Charm like she broke. you know she's kind of indebted to him to to keep him going. Well done. Yeah, he is crispy. He is. She is kebab. Crispy critter. Um, so let's go. What do you got? What do I got? All right. Yeah. Well, I saw that. <laughs> Basically, you, you started off with that with how those four people. Were, it was nighttime mm -hmm. and. How she was protecting him mm -hmm. was ridiculous. Ridiculous. I think the first guy that tried to kill him was the guy in the suit. Yeah. And he waited till it was nighttime. He had mentioned to her already, like, "Look, either you deal with this, or I'm going to deal with right. this." And she, he thought he was being smooth, not not realizing that hey, this chick seems really protective, and just she just. Yeah, she takes care of him. Yeah, because he tries coming down and cracking him mm -hmm. right in the jugulos. Yep, yep. And <laughs> the part that made me laugh was she stabbed him, and then the the poor guy in the little the colored shirt. Yeah, she's like <laughs> not even skipping a beat. Just grab his feet. <laughs> that was yeah. it. like just he's got to go. Yeah, yeah. That was nuts. She's quick with it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I would have done with the kid. I don't know if I would have reacted the same way. She did, the guy did, or try to kill him. I mean, he, he, the kid was in bad shape, but yeah, I don't know if I would have. Somebody bitten is more of a threat than somebody injured, right? And I mean, you, you just gotta kind of figure, you know, you gotta you gotta wonder if he's suffering at that point. Like, if he's suffering, you know, obviously the listen, he's burnt really bad. You have no medication, no way to really protect him from the sun, right? You know, and you're burnt, and the sun is just gonna intensify the infection and everything. But my whole thing was no it, water. But there's salt water. Salt kills bacteria. So, you, I mean, she had yeah. these dressings and she was trying to, I think she was using iodine or something. I think she was using iodine. I think so, yeah. But if you constantly wring out the dressings and you put, dip it in salt water mm -hmm. and you just constantly put it on there, I, I feel like that is a way to kill the infection. Yeah. I know she had a bottle of something clear and it was either I, I rubbing it, alcohol or like a bottle of vodka or I something. Thought, maybe like it was a bottle of, of vodka. One of those yeah. little bottles. Maybe it was She was vodka. like, this is going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and the kid just lost yeah. it yeah and then after that whole scene it snaps to the boat yep with uh, the co who this those travis madison. travis and madison yeah. and they're laying in bed yep <laughs> i and listen i the biggest the biggest cock block <laughs> the zombie apocalypse i mean come I, on. can anybody just you know, you, you got Ricky Michonne being waking up. That, I mean, they did get it on, but then Jesus wakes them up and they're naked. Yeah. It's like, can anybody just have a little little TLC time here? I, I mean, I had to make a note of it. I mean, I couldn't get it done. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just would not be able to get it done. Oh, everything that's going on around him, everything, and they're so new to the situation. Everything going on in their head, uh -huh. like he even he was just like the way he rolled over. He's like. Oh. <laughs> he just like rolled his eyes. Fine. The guy, the guy was up anyways. Like yeah. he was awake. Like she's like rubbing his back or whatever, and he's just like. And you could tell she was giving him like, hey, one of those, hey. Yeah. Normally it's, normally it's hey. a dude doing that. Like, yeah. <laughs> come on. She, and he's the one that was like, I can't do this. I, I don't remember what what stopped him. I think oh, the boat stopped. Yeah, the boat stopped. The boat stopped. Yeah. Right. So the situation. It was the bang that wasn't yeah, the bang. bang, that wasn't, wasn't the bang. I guess yeah. you can say. Yeah, it was the non-bang bang. The non-bang non bang. Yeah. Damn it. So I, Damn you, Z-Pop. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't <laughs> do it. So they're trying to figure out what's going on yep. in that situation. And my question to you, would, would you volunteer? Uh, no, not it. I wrote I would volunteer. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing with the ocean, okay? Uh, on land, yeah. I'm like up here on the on the uh, food chain okay there's like me 
Yeah, and then, then there's like, well, it's not even that. I, I, I eat. The I'm animals. on top of the food chain. I eat, I eat the animals. You know what do I like? I don't go to uh, Africa because of lions and tigers and all that shit. I don't. I, I don't go. I don't go uh, uh, to the the, the, z the zodiac area. You know, I, like I don't know. I don't go anywhere near polar bears. I don't go anywhere in the in. in, in <laughs> well, I, you, I like. You would survive in the wizard. Of <laughs> I like lions being and tigers are up after. here on the food chain. When I go in the ocean, yeah. I go way down See, here on the food chain. So if you want to put on the scuba gear, and you want to go in the water with the swimming zombies, what about zombie sharks? They don't, but there, we have not seen a zombie animal. What about it, though? <laughs> but we haven't seen it. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But the, all right, but maybe they haven't gotten. Maybe they haven't gotten to it yet. What the hell would you do if you saw a zombie great white come oh, at you? Look at the zombie goldfish. Like it's just swimming oh, by. Because it would be a goldfish in the middle of the ocean. Just this saying. isn't this isn't Dora the uh, or whatever Dory. <laughs> Dor or, Dory or, the, no, Dory. No, the, no, this is uh, <laughs> what, what, no. Because I'm thinking of Finding Nemo, but now it's Dory. Dory. Yeah. Oh, I this isn't Finding Nemo, bro. It's not the I, clownfish. I totally, I'm worried about. I totally pictured Dora the Explorer <laughs> in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Boots, and let's go. I, I <laughs> yeah, this may sound like Mario. <laughs> Boots, I let's go! It's a me, a Mario! Mario is now on Door of the Explorer. Anyway, so, to completely sidetracked. What? <laughs> I am not going in the water. You put it on All and right. you go. I was in my whole thought process. Shotgun, why, not it. Why I would volunteer. They're pretty far, they're pretty deep. Every mm. yeah. swimming zombie that they've encountered has zombie been. Shark. Zombie shark. Go ahead. Every zombie. Oh, <laughs> what the? What you looking at you? Chris is a unicorn. Oh, it's a shark, not a unicorn. unicorn. Every zombie that we have came across, they've been floating. Uh -huh. Like just. Yep. So it's not like they're like swimming. They're not like doing the little. So if I go underneath the water, mm. there's not going to be anything down there besides your zombie shark. I don't care. But th I feel like that's the safest. Like if anything, that's the most time I like. I can actually relax. Okay. Then please go. I, I'm in there. Good. I got my snorkel. On. You know what? I'm in there. I will. I will puss out and say I'm not going. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stand watch. Good. You know what? That just got you. Hmm. A little dingy behind the boat. That got me. That got you a little dingy behind that the got boat. Me, I'm dragging you behind the boat. That got me an extra plate at the dinner table when you're dead. <laughs> that's what it got. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. It, <laughs> Please continue. Fine, sir. You're in a dinghy right now. You're in a dinghy, floating behind the boat. And I'm gonna th I'm gonna have a cup of water and I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it to you and whatever's left over. Oh man, this tastes good. Where's Matt? Oh, is this right, Peter right. Pan? You're eating your imaginary food right now. I'm eating your food. Yeah. <laughs> you said. <laughs> Anyways, I would totally volunteer in that situation. So, the gentleman goes down there and. And finds, and he finds suction cup zombie face. Yes, and he's right to the intake. He's stuck inside yeah. of it. Yeah, and I don't in. know if you noticed, but the shirt that he was wearing mm. was the shirt of the guy in the dinghy. Yeah, that little the little yellow thing that they're little Miss Bruce Lee. He was, was he was the last man. Standing, so to say, right in the in the rubber raft. He made the mistake. I feel uh, we don't know what happened exactly of, of trying threatening to kill. Yeah. to kill. She had warned him too. Yeah, but you saw what happened to the other guy. Just shut up. Yeah, because you sat there and he's sitting there. He's like, you know, yeah. listen, uh, I, I, I'll kill him. Like, yeah, oh, that didn't stupid. work. Stupid. Yeah, that's... just stupid. Like, I feel like as soon as like the cameras cut away, yeah, she, she threw like pop pop. Well, that was a throwing star. Oh, yeah. So she has ninja stars. Yeah, Bruce okay. Lee. Ta, dead, Good. gone. So yeah. his hand is. Is that because she's Asian? She has to be no cool. karate. No, I'm just saying she shaved Bruce the, Lee. Listen, because she ninja the other dude who was trying to sneak at her. That was not a stereotype guy over here. Because she's Asian, got no karate. <laughs> Go ahead, come on, let me, yeah, keep going. You're doing a great job leading the show. So, 
course. So it was safe to assume that she's Asian and karate. She she, oh. killed, she killed him. Right. <laughs> I feel like this is payback for the time. Okay. Anyways, so colored shirt guy, mm -hmm. dead, hand stuck in the vent. Yeah. Intake. Um, the water. Filtration what was it? What, was that the? Why couldn't the boat run? Because the the well, it, did you see all the sledge? Yeah, the but what came out of there? It gunked up the water, like the water. Was that, that? That was a filter. That was some kind of. I, I don't know. I don't think it was a fuel filter, but it was. Was like that meant a, to cool the motors? Yeah, that water comes oh. in through to, to cool it. So it's a water filtration system that got gunked up. That makes sense. Yeah, that's why he said that the the the, the water keeps the engines cool. And when it's not pot, I got you. Okay, I, 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 I did miss that part. Yeah. Okay. Well, did you just roll your eyes? No. I could see it on the big screen. I didn't. <laughs> I, I see. Now I'm locked in. So, <laughs> so the next part, right? After he has a brief discussion. Yeah, about you know, because Strand is going crazy. Yeah, Strand, Strand's like he's on the phone, and I want to know who he's talking to. He's talking about deadlines he, and he being there in a certain amount of time. He couldn't. I don't think anybody. He thought some somebody picked up the phone. Yeah. But I don't think he knew if anybody was there. Just the fact that it wasn't ringing anymore. He assumed that somebody was on the other side, and then he loses service. Right. And then he's in frustration. Is, he throws the phone. This is the second or third time he's gotten on the phone. That satellite phone. I mean, somebody's got to be waiting. Yeah. For him. I, I think maybe it's something he. Something actually just. Something just it could, hit my mind. It could be his family. It could ah. it could be uh, someone even said I think actually I think it was Carol or someone even said that he, maybe he's some kind of drug lord, you know what I mean? know. He wants to go to Mexico. <laughs> Let me throw a little hypothetical just in case. Sure. What if he almost knew that something could eventually happen? And what if the Oh I definitely think he did. The people he, he's talking to mm -hmm. something he because he's a multi-millionaire something he bought into like some type of safety you have a limited amount of time if you don't get here we're shutting, you, down. We're shutting the door down the vaults closing that's it right oh, I, I definitely think that's possible because look at how his house was fortified his right. house was he didn't have like a normal house on the block so right you know he exactly. had this fortified secure drawbridge drawbridge walls right he, he, had he, he knew where he wanted to go he you know, he yeah. had a plan. So right. I was thinking maybe, he, like, where, maybe if this was started by terrorism, maybe he made a deal with somebody. I'll yeah. give you certain millions of dollars. This is gonna s save my spot right. here. I think his original plan to take them to San Diego was for him to get rid of them. Okay. He wanted to get to San Diego to dump them off so that he could be on his way to Mexico okay. by himself. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why he wanted to go to San Diego first because he said the military, this, this, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. blah. You know they'll be ready. They'll you know be taking in people. So that's why he wanted San Diego first, in my eyes. Okay. And then he was gonna dump them and then go. That makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. But that was just food for thought. Yep. Yeah. Um. So I was saying, well, like, what's in Baja? So that's basically yeah what it was. Um. So they decided they're gonna go to the beach. Yep. And I thought this was a fantastic idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people were against it. I think. I mean, the, the kids were a little bit too jumpy to go right into it. But yeah, I mean, in that kind of case, like, idea. listen, you and I aren't going to let a bunch of teenagers go ashore, no matter how much. They're... Listen, I already, I, gonna, I, already, I, already gonna... I already volunteered to go into the boat, so I'm out. No, well, I'm, I'm going to go out. ashore, but I'm not going to, you know, like Salazar said, like I'll go with them. I'll keep an eye on them. Number one, if eh, I'm gonna go, but he had his own. He had his own. Well, because he wanted to get medication for his right. Daughter. He had his own reasoning for going. Right, and I don't know why he wants to keep that such a big secret. Um, you know, he, as he he tells her like this is a family thing between us. You know, it's like I understand that meds and all this stuff are, are like you know very very scarce, but let your group if you you. At that point, you need to start trusting your group. Let your group know that you need help with something. Let let them know that your daughter. Has an infection. But you saw, you see how Strand is. Right. You see how nervous he gets, and he's he's so he want he just wants to stay alive, basically. Yeah. But I would tell Madison and Travis. Yeah, but if the word gets out, they're like, oh well, we need to watch her now, and if she gets a fever, then they're gonna say, well. Yeah. Like eh, yeah, I guess. They're gonna kill her. But I so, mean, as far as going ashore, a hundred percent on board with it. I mean, okay. that's a, that you see all that luggage. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I agree with you. They're it. either going to think that either a ship went down 
or uh, or a plane crashed. I mean, because otherwise, where else do you get all that? Where do you get all that? Did debris? you see plane parts like from there up top when they first get on shore? Yeah, there's nothing on the, on the shoreline. Okay. Um, but I mean, when you see that much, you got to think one of two things: big, you know, large ship, or a plane. Because I mean, that makes sense. They were probably falling from the sky all over the place. Yeah, of course. Um, Damn. So I mean, yeah, you know, they they get they get that little little crew together. They go, mm -hmm. you know, they they hit the, the shoreline and they start looking through stuff and everything. Right. And <coughs> everything's going fine. And then um, Chris disappears. Chris Chris is that kid shot. Dumb. Like why? Like why? He's fighting some serious demons, I think. Like right why? Now. Why? Why? Why go? Why wander? Mm. You're just asking for a problem. He enjoyed killing those zombies at that fence line. That's true. I mean, he, do you think he, he, really, was, he was looking for that? He really enjoyed that. And I mean, I think he just... I just think he doesn't want to... You know, he doesn't want to be a team player right now. I think he wants to be on his own. Kind of like... Stupid. Yeah, of course stupid, it is. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Because I feel like... It, and Look what he ended up once like, you think you can make it on your own, and you're—I mean, you're only what about a month into this, yeah, a few weeks into it, right? And, and look what he ends up stumbling across. You know, he ends up stumbling across uh, part of the the plane. The plane, but there's someone in there who is alive with two zombies and one guy who he thought was dead. Turns out, help me, yeah. he's alive. Yeah, and which turns into and what he meant by help was not like hey help me get out of here I th yeah, he wanted hey kill me yeah, I'm and suffering because half his spine is sticking out of his back it wasn't until he rolled out of the seat that and you, you see that yeah. I, I didn't realize I thought he actually wanted him to help him. Yeah, no, he wanted I thought maybe his legs were broken and then you realize that he's paralyzed and he can't move Right. which I don't know how anybody could have survived their spine being snapped like in protruding out of your back mm -hmm. I don't know I didn't know that was possible but Apparently, yeah. Um, I, I it's, he did it kind of quick. I I don't I don't think like I just that's the first human that they had to kill. Yep. And he was he he almost he hesitated a little bit, but he was pretty quick to do it. Mm -hmm. The part that disturbed me the most, and probably would have totally messed my head up, was the fact that he hit him Sorry. twice. And the guy was just Still like looking at, looking at him, like, yeah. "Are you gonna hit me again harder, or right. should I get your grandmother to do it?" <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that, like that type of deal. And then he finally, he finally does it. Now, going back to problem? No, no, no issues here. <laughs> uh, going back to. Um, Nick, right? Yep. Nick and his sister. Yeah, Alicia. Alicia, she's Which I still want her to die. Don't like her. She's kind of hot, actually. I don't give a shit. Die. Kill her already. Annoying. Worthless. She's pretty eyes. I like it. Great. Anyways, she says something interesting to Nick. Um, she goes. <laughs> all, all the years of wandering, <laughs> of wondering what you're doing and where you are and what you're doing, and, and now you're here. Mm -hmm. Now I see. Now I see you. Right. Um, I don't know if anybody really understood what you meant by that, but <laughs> basically, what I think she was saying was mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. No, wait. No, I'm good. <laughs> what I think she was saying was, like, in the normal world, we didn't know what you were doing. You were all over the place. You were, you were a hot mess. But now, now you're here, and I see. Like, this is you. Yeah. You're you. He's like I was always. This around. is where you belong. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Like, cause he he's he says something like I was, I was always around. I was. But, Something about eating. Yeah, I was always around, but I was, when I was hungry or something like that, I was, I was around, but it was only when yeah, I was hungry or right. something like that. Yeah. And I thought that was that was pretty cool because I had no sympathy for him in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I had none. Yeah, I don't think anybody really did because he was just a hot mess. He kept going back and forth, and I mean, I, I've never had a drug addiction before, so I, I don't know what what goes on with it. Maybe maybe somebody does, does like knew like knows about that situation, but 
Like he would get sober and then he would go right back to it with the yeah. IV and he'd be sneaking pills and now he's now Which he's is what I thought happened in the last episode when he was snooping around the house. Well, you would be dead. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank exactly, God. if he would have taken those, yeah. yeah so, I mean, so it's a good dead. thing he just kind of did like, it was like an investigative kind of search. Right, right. And I'm trying to think of what happened after that. Right after what? Chris Ray, and the situation? I guess that's when shit started hitting the fan. Yeah, well, you see, um, Salazar notices the Chris. That's Nathan. what it was. Salazar started yeah. wandering all over the place right. looking for. And he thinks, you know, he sees somebody running towards him, stumbling and falling over. The place. I, I thought it was him. And yeah. I was. I, I thought it was him uh, because I thought maybe it got to him and he just wanted to get back so, like, so badly yeah. Yeah. that he was running. But nope. Yeah, it was. The. the, the <clears throat> Bruce Lee related woman um, that Matt likes to refer her to because she's Asian um, related to Bruce Lee uh, and she knows karate so she's running through the <laughs> through the sand uh, Salazar thinks it's Chris in the meantime uh, on the side note Alicia goes off to find Chris too and finds him in the plane mm -hmm. and he hears her and comes out and he's like oh no I'm fine whatever and she's like you know sees blood all over yeah, but look at it he, he wasn't there yeah like he was Gone. And she was like, "Did you get buried? You hurt or whatever?" He's like, "No, He's no, like, I'm no. fine." She's like, "Did you have to kill it? Kill any?" And he said, "Yeah." So now they're off on their way back. Mm -hmm. um, stranger, uh, stranger Asian girl comes and runs into <laughs> Salazar. Mm -hmm. I don't remember her name. Uh, and that's why I said female Bruce Lee. Don't try to make yourself like you're not the enemy here. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely are. You, you definitely are the enemy by calling her uh, Asian Bruce Lee girl or whatever. Do you? <laughs> anyway, Matt, you're in enough trouble as it is. Um, so now everyone is on their way back to the shoreline. Salazar sees these zombies start cresting over the the sand dunes, and decides that he's going to pull out his pistol. And then he's like, "Well, there's like a hundred of them." But I'll shoot as many as I can. Another side note, Nick sees, uh, I don't know, the, the Krabby Patty. Krabby, cra the, the, the zombie. The Krabby Patty. Yeah, the Krabby Patty, the, the freaking zombie down in the little thing. Which is probably one of the coolest zombies I've seen. With his intestines and everything eaten out. The crabs have, e have eaten them. Yeah. He's just got them crawling everywhere. Yeah. He's taking them, he's eating them. But and they're, like, just... they're falling back down through and it's coming out again if he doesn't, you know... <laughs> <laughs> they just want a little ride. Yeah, so I mean, probably, yeah, probably one of the more cool kind of like, you know, images to see, I guess, as far, you know, because you wouldn't, I wouldn't associate that right away. Mm -hmm. You know, like zombies on the beach and right. crustaceans of the sea uh, inhabiting the cavity of the zombie. Yep. So you have Nick there. nuts. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a really, really cool effect they gave. It was bananas. And uh, so you have Nick watching, and I call, you know, I've seen him, I was like, well, he's going to fall. And of course, gives away, falls down there. I didn't think he was going to fall. As soon as they, whenever they focus in on something like that, and they focus on his foot, and you yeah. see a little bit of the dirt give away, <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh, Eric, it's coming. And, and once you know it, he lands right into the down. arms. Yeah. He's got Mr. Krabs yep. trying to. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is trying to bite him and eat him, and he's fighting with him. And um, he found that pocket knife in one of the pieces of the luggage. Yep. Pulls that out, kills him. Mm -hmm. But then there's sure zombies enough. start popping up up top, and now they're falling down. Base um, jumping zombie. Yeah. Now you cut back to the group, and it's an all out melee. Yep. Salazar's shooting. They're grabbing whatever they can find and just. <sighs> She finds a pipe somewhere, uh, Alicia finds a pipe somewhere and starts bashing. I, that, that whole part was just like, sh she better pull something out of good, like yeah. something good out. I mean, I was hoping it was gonna Chris be a, had a that weird piece of, yeah, he had like a weird piece of metal airplane. A piece of like, part, yeah, yep. Um, which, I mean, think about it, you know, hey, there's probably a lot of sharp objects laying around, a lot yeah, of, of course. good pieces of stuff to use. Mm -hmm. and that Looked kind like of, a sickle almost. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It just was, you know, had the little arch sharp. to it. Yeah. Um, I forgot what uh, Bruce Lee's daughter had, but um, she had like a knife because she, she she jumped like a ninja and like stabbed one in the head. She was like, 
Hi -ya! Hi -ya! <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so all that's taking place, and then like a boss, mm -hmm. I mean literally like a boss, Nick comes out of nowhere, straight up just Alicia's going nuts. He's like, Where's Nick? Where's Nick? And he just he just oh blood. Like you plan that shit. Is that what this is? Like just do, do blood we? like I mean just hair was slicked back in that shit. Like he was like uh <laughs> Let's go. Like he was like, Let me do my hair. He ended up looking like nineteen year old Eugene. Shit was like rushed back. <laughs> do you do you think he obviously he figured it out at that point? Well, not I mean, I don't not not right at that point. No. I mean, he shows up and he's just like, Wham you know, I mean he starts slaying him. Yeah. Everybody runs away and Nick's like, I don't know if he realized, but as everyone ran away, he ha he was just walking. Yeah. Turns around and he's like, Well, how come I'm not getting attacked? And I mean it just it was it was it was an awesome scene. Yep. He like turns around face to face with one, he starts mimicking the, the zombie growling yeah. and stuff and Alicia's like Nick you know like what are you doing yeah and like he has you could you could see the light bulb come on like you know because he turns and he like ding. looks down at himself and he's like holy shit yeah one of the best scenes that that that, that was scene, pretty cool that scene is one of the best scenes I've seen they introduced it the way they introduced it in this show mm -hmm. was more of an for for me was more of an awe factor mm -hmm. as it was for when he did it in The Walking Dead because they kind of st stumbled across it. They didn't even really explain like they like they didn't figure it out. You didn't see like they just yeah. assumed that it would work. I right, guess. exactly. Yeah, and you know because I think Glenn had said that he had done it before. I, don't know, I can't I see. I can't remember. I that can't now. remember that far back. Somebody else looks. Yeah, we need that. But answer. I do know that this like when they when he showed it in The Walking Dead, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But when they did it in this last episode, mm -hmm. it brought more like, oh shit, yeah. like yep. mind blown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you know, I've seen this f before, right. but this is fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, but this is cool. Um, you know what? Sue me. How about that? Oh, you yeah. can have my. Let's say you can that. Have my, you can have my bed. That's what I own. Um, <laughs> Let's say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, not associated with this at all. No, he's not, because he doesn't know how to post a podcast in a timely manner. Not associated with me at all. If it wasn't for I the, get shit done. If it wasn't for the lighting, it was pretty dark. I still would have posted it though, because you guys would love it no matter what, right? See, they all nodded yes. Oh. See that? Yeah. So anyway. I don't like this nation behind you. I got like, this is what I have. <laughs> I got this guy. Tell it. Oh, they can't even see it. No, it's, I don't no, it's too bright. I don't We're not posting no, it. It's, it's too, too bright. It's too bright. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me small. Um, so, yeah. they bring the Mrs. Ninja? Lady, Ninja Lady. Asian woman. Back to the boat. And <laughs> this was the most comical part. <laughs> Of this show, and you had said that this is why Strand is the man. This is, I know a lot of people out there don't like Strand, but keep in mind if the zombie apocalypse happened right now, you are looking at who would be Strand or Rick Grimes. I am right here in front I'd of you. I'd rather go with Rick because we still don't know about Strand. Because Strand, it seems to me like he has some he made it very, selfish he made it very clear. He, there's three rules to my boat it's my boat, it's my boat. It's my goddamn boat. Okay, but here's a fun little story. Uh huh. Let's say you're not Strand. Uh -huh. Let's say that Strand is on the like key. You go, you on his boat. What do you do? He puts you on a dinghy. Hey, this is fun. We're gonna ship out. We're gonna be all the way out here. Mm hmm. Right. Right. All of a sudden, you see a little angry guy walking up. Like, oh, what's he doing? Gone. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're. Do you see how quick she popped up? Yeah. She was laying down, and she's like, "Hey, <laughs> like, well, we're screwed." Yeah. Cause so she, she's telling this poor kid, like, "This will be this the, is the worst. This is the worst it's, it's gonna be." Nope. Shit just got real. <laughs> It'll like, get better after today. Yeah. 
You could drown yourself in fresh water but that they think about, now. Well, just think about it this way: they got they got clothes, blankets, water, and food. They're they were, okay. They were better off leaving them on land. But they're they're if they they'll drift right back to it. <laughs> Yeah, she's got that paddle she's murdered three people with. That's yeah, true. She can get around. She is lethal. And now she can do it hydrated. Just <laughs> <laughs> she can get her a sweatpants and she's, some Gatorade. And she's she's even more dangerous. Yeah. Here's where it'll come to bite them in the ass is when they end up somewhere and they end up seeing her oh. and this kid after he's healed. And because you know that'll happen. You know it's going to happen. It's going to come to a head. They're going to be somewhere. They're going to land. And they'll be in some kind of little little area, and here will come, uh, you know, burn kid and, and Asian girl, and they're gonna, you know, there's gonna be that look. There is nothing worse. There's gonna be that look. Not nothing worse, and I've learned the thirty years that and I've a been a woman here. scorned. I knew exactly what he was gonna say because there's nothing worse than a woman As scorned. As men, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> we've learned that a yeah, lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. So, uh, a I, lot. <laughs> one of the best all-around episodes I've ever seen. Yes. Even comparing to The Walking Dead, um, like I said, they brought some good awe factor. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the way they introduced things, uh, just you know. Just a really good, well-written show. Solid. Yeah. Solid. I, I hope it gets better. They got me hooked now, so I'm yeah. hoping, and I hope there's some crossovers, you know, a few little... I think it's going to take... I, I, listen, do we all think it's possible? Yes. Yeah, of course. It's going to take a few seasons, though. You know, They, they have to do it right. They yeah. can't just be like, oh, yeah, that balloon. Right. Yeah. Well, like we spoke in the episode that didn't get posted... Uh, which I right it was we talked about how many seasons they're 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 guaranteed to right now, right? Did we? Yeah, I believe we we spoke about how many. I'm not sure. It was never posted, so I don't know. I we spoke about how The Walking Dead is definitely uh, contracted up to 12 seasons right now, um, and how it could possibly go. You know, they they have guaranteed 12 seasons and possibly can definitely happen. It, it, it's and it's bound to happen at one point or another. You know, you got. They're traveling in in direction. They're saying that they're going to go to Mexico, but once again, we don't know what's going to happen when we get there, and that might push them along the east coast a little more. And they or they're going to end up hitting land eventually because they're going to run out of <laughs> they're going to run out of uh, fuel, real estate, places to go. And at one point or another, I do believe that pads will cross. Pads or pads? pets? Pet pet. Listen. I'm from New York, all right? I got, I got. hey, we got the pads of the pads. I'm going to ask you a question in a minute. Yeah. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. So what do you got there? What do you no, got? No. Is that your sign off? It's a little hashtag. Oh, yeah? You're yeah. going to start a hashtag, too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to start a yeah. hashtag. Listen, if he has anything against me, keep the hashtag. Let's let's hate on Matt a little bit more, all right? All right. How about, how about even when after this is posted... Okay. After this is posted, I still want to edit this out right now. <laughs> After this, if you do, I will. I will make sure they know. Make sure they know what? I'll tweet it. <laughs> you tweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn them as soon as we're done. Make sure Matt. I'll, I'll make sure you posted all this. I'll post it. I know. I'm just kidding. All right. Bullshit. I'm good. Show them your hashtag. No, Matt. I don't. I'm gonna be nice. No, it's here. Oh, oh, you don't want me to see it, so I know it's bad. No, you already saw it. <laughs> I tell you, brought it up. <laughs> All right, um, that's what we got for this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh, we'll, we'll, uh, what? What? We got that big thing coming up. Big thing. Cross promotions. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. We have a uh, a big interview coming up this week with a, a restaurant. Um, well, it's a warehouse. Well, it's a restaurant, though. The warehouse. It's called the warehouse. The warehouse. Um, and uh, doing doing live podcasts, podcasts there. Um, it's New York. Yeah, doing live podcasts there um, during during the show. Mm -hmm. So once that'll be next season. Once The Walking Dead comes back. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna be October. Yeah, October. So we'll get all that situated, and then uh, we actually have a, a, and then we have 
another interview with Bridget after she's uh, done with her second book. Yeah. So. You gotta find more people to interview. That was fun. Yeah, had a good time. Bridget, you're awesome. Yes. Buy her book. I listen. I had some downtime while I was away, so mm -hmm. I got to really get in, and I I love it. Yeah. Love it. So. People, be good. We love you. Can you get some enthusiasm? Shit, man. <laughs> we love you so much. Be safe. Stay safe. Cardio. Check your corners. Cardio. And cardio. Alright, everybody. Peace, Peace out. Later.